Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebuilding Sunderland. Welcome back to the Sunderland Road to Glory. My name's Webby. If you are new uh, to the series, to the say, please leave me a like uh, down below. A subscribe if you're new would really, really help me out. Let's crack on with today's episode. <laughs> So as you can see from the seg schedule screen here, everybody, um, our form since I think we were last uh, with us at the uh, Nottingham Forest, I think we did these two, didn't we? Our form has been absolutely ridiculous. I feel as if I've really nailed on this 4-2-4 uh, tactic, got it ticking uh, along beautifully, really. Ricky J. Jones is just an absolute superstar. He really, really is. Uh, becoming vital, vital, vital for that uh, for this team. 21 goals in 13 uh, league appearances. That is absolutely incredible uh, from the lad. So you can see, from, because of our amazing form in the league there, I'll show you it again in a bit more detail in just a bit, but you can see uh, that we've won uh, 26, drawn 6, lost 4, enough to give us 84 points uh, in the league. A big, big gap now between ourselves and Brentford, uh, down in second and 12 points between ourselves uh, and the playoffs. So I am feeling very confident indeed uh, that we can push from or for an automatic place. Harvey White is also a tremendous player. Believe you me, he really is. His valuation, 15.5 million. Uh, again, he's one of those I'd love to get in on a permanent next season when we go up to the Prem, but I don't think uh, that we can. In terms of our goalkeeping issue, our goalkeeping crisis, it got to deadline day, transfer deadline day, uh, and I really was scrabbling around looking for young, good keepers who wanted to come. I just couldn't find any uh, who were up for it or uh, whose clubs wanted uh, to sell them on the deadline day. Uh, so I settled uh, for Jack Butland here. I'm, he's done very, very well, believe you me, since he's come in, but I'm not 100% convinced. This big downside is his communication. Communication of four is truly dreadful uh, for a goalkeeper. However, everything else about him uh, screams a brilliant, brilliant pickup. Uh, to me and to be fair to him since he's come in in the January at the end of January here uh, you can see we off our, our goals against record he's done a brilliant job basically uh, he's been absolutely uh, stupendous so in today's episode everyone uh, we've got Huddersfield coming up in the FA Cup fifth round uh, and then we'll do the Blackpool game uh, in the league I'd love 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 uh, to get a good old cup run uh, going so I think this is the team we're going to go with for this one here, everybody. We've got uh, Ricky Jade up top here. Um, I've changed around uh, the, the, the formation, the positions, a little bit as we've gone on uh, this incredible run. And, and really, I mean, honestly, it's just been absolutely magical, uh, some of the football uh, that we've been playing. We have had a, a few injuries and players coming back uh, from injury, but i tell you who is back. Well, I'd like Divine uh, on the bench here. Nati uh, is not fully fit. Uh, I'd like McCann. Uh, on the bench, not Flanagan, McCann. Um, and I would also like, I think, Josh Bowler. I know he's not fully fit, but he's just come back from this really, really long-term injury. Uh, and I'd love to give him uh, sort of 10 minutes of game time uh, at the end uh, of the match, if I can. That's the idea. So let's submit this team and get to the match itself. Submit that there. So it's been truly remarkable. I mean, you, you know, sometimes when you get runs on Football Manager and, and you, you you think your team is just outstanding, that's the kind of run uh, that we've been on recently. And everything uh, has just uh, gone so, so well. Uh, I've got rid of everybody who was complaining before. No, the dressing room is just, the atmosphere around the place is brilliant. And these long throws are just absolutely a weapon uh, for us. Costanza uh, into Ida there. I think as well there is um, th there are some issues. Well, not some issues. I shouldn't say that, but I need to do a graphics card driver update, and that hopefully will help with the flickering uh, that we sometimes get during the gameplay. Green picks up on the right wing. He's done really well in recent games. Green, uh, I think he got a hat trick in one game recently, and he wins us the penalty there. And uh, it's going to be White to step up to take the penalty. 
And what a goal from White there. Well, what a goal. What a penalty uh, from White there. He really is just a brilliant, brilliant player. That Spurs side, like I say, have got so many great under-21, under-18 prospects in them. Um, and uh, they've all been updated, I think, with the uh, latest update too, the latest patch, which we're not on. Uh, so they're even better uh, now, thinking of the likes of Dean Scarlett and Alfie Brown, who apparently, uh, I think it's Alfie Brown, um, who are apparently um, wonder kids. Alfie Devine, uh, it is. Uh, and Benza uh, scoring there for Huddersfield. So they're not a bad side, this Huddersfield side, by the looks of things. Just noticed something there that I didn't quite like. I don't. I think I prefer uh, Jones as an advance forward here uh, and Ida uh, here, because I think that matches up. Let's make him a complete forward uh, on support rather than attack, I think. Um, and uh, we are recording, yes we are, and confirm those changes there. So everything is really, really going superbly to plan. I think we may, if, if, the, if this continues for the rest of the season, uh, I think we may, oh dear, White's got an injury, I was picking him up there and he's now picked up a knock. We're going to have to bring on, uh, no, we're going to bring on Billy Gilmore uh, for White. Uh, Billy Gilmore is obviously also a superb uh, player. We're going to play him on deep laying playmaker on defend there. Uh, and confirm those changes. That is a shame. I hope well, White's not out for too long. That would be a big blow uh, to our season, I think. Uh, we should be able to cover it. We've got... we Basically, are strengthened enough uh, to have cover for all positions, which is the idea, and make a strength a weakness, etc. That's what I always say. Uh, a weakness, a strength, rather. Uh, that's what I always say uh, when it comes to transfers. And then the rest of it looks after itself. You can bring in, you know, your wonder kids and your youngsters for development after that. But it's um, it's going to be close this game, I think. Huddersfield uh, look like they they've had a rejuvenation. I don't know why this does sometimes happen, by the way. Uh, when you're on a run uh, and we come to a live com, it's just as if we don't turn up uh, sometimes. To be fair, though, uh, this is the FA Cup. It's not the league. It is a different uh, kind of uh, kettle of chips, if you like. Coming into the last uh, five minutes now, I've got to do something about this. I'm going to give them, I think I'm going to give them a, a stern talking to uh, at half time. Uh, let's uh, point, the, point the finger, um, show me something else in the second half. Uh, everybody knows we can do much better than this, and I expect to see it in the second half. So, Cold De Silva, Armini, a few people look motivated there. Uh, we'll start the second half here. So, this isn't going according to plan <laughs> at all. However, you can't you can't win every single game that you play in. Let's be honest, and our form has been terrific uh, recently, so I can't complain too much. Harper uh, looks like he's having a poor game. De Silva, Menji, Curtis Jones been a bit quiet this game, and to be fair, last few games as well, um, I've been trying to rest out the players. Oh, Ricky Jade almost scores uh, there for us. I'm going to see if. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this now that I've done it. Um, I'm going to see if this actually helps changing this around. Don't go into Adam Ida there. Uh, get him as a deep laying forward on attack and confirm those changes. Uh, I'd like to bring old um, What's-His-Face on in a minute. Give him some game time after his horrific injury. Bowler. I've had Bowler before, by the way. One of the reasons I went for him, you know, you know, when you get like a, <laughs> um, when you get players like like De Sil uh, like um, um, what's his name, Divine Reese Divine was. Goodness me, my brain is going today. Uh, like Reese Divine, um, there are players that you pick up sometimes, and you, and you just have wonderful memories from previous FM saves. And Josh Bowler uh, is or Bowler is one of those. Uh, I had him a couple of FMs back, and he just—he was absolutely just unheard of good. And his his stats, his attributes belied uh, what he actually brought to a game. Uh, I don't want to big him up too much because I don't know about him in the recent FMs. A couple of FMs I've not had him. Uh, so let's bring on Josh Bowler here, and I think we're going to bring on McCann uh, as well. There, uh, he can play advanced playmaker, and Bowler is um, a winger here let's confirm those subs so not too impressive hopefully we can do better in the league game uh, coming up I would have liked to have progressed in the FA Cup uh, Jones Curtis Jones over to Ida 
from the deep lane position. Adam Ida. So swapping those two around, that did work. Eventually, I got the right combination. Uh, I've been ticking around, and with and the same with midfield as well. To be fair, uh, the right combination of the two, uh, the roles and the and the personnel. Uh, Cummins um, has has not featured that much. He went on a bit of a a goal drought, and I had that message saying Cummins vows to end uh, goal drought, uh, and he did that game, but. I've not been playing him that much. And he is our player, so I do feel a bit sorry uh, because of that. Costanza driving forward. Lovely play from Costanza. Taken out by Stewart. That's surely a red card referee. He's got his red out. The The player is sent off for Huddersfield there. Let's um, uh, encourage or demand more. Encourage entire team. Hopefully we'll see some smiley faces from that. Costanza with a long throw and Schofield uh, picks up from the long throw there. Like I say, I mean, I'm, I'm not 100% convinced with those long throws. Our corners seem very, very powerful. Uh, the long throws do seem to do something, uh, you know, in the game. Bowler, lovely play. Curtis Jones has got a bit of a knock there. I don't think we can uh, bring on another sub like we could last season. Ah, oh, Fernando Costanza with a shot saved uh, by their goalie there. Um, we've got another couple of minutes. It's still 2-2. Two, two. Is this going to go to a... Does it go to a replay or do you get extra time? I'm not sure. McCann. Gilmore. Tackled by Ross. De Silva. Play it in, De Silva. Play it in. Oh, dear. Gilly, Gilmore. Billy Gilmore. McCann. Gilmore. McCann. McCann had interest by uh, in him in the, in the transfer window, by the way. I think it got to up to about um, half a million. Gilmore. We could do with a goal here, Billy. Uh, saved uh, by Schofield there. Uh, so, yeah, I think the bid came in for half a million for him. Dressing room. Uh, we're, we only need one goal here, so we're going to do um, pump fists. Um, we're all capable of getting it. Everybody seemed motivated uh, by that. Now, I don't think we can make a substitution um, here. Uh, come in for Curtis Jack. We can make a substitution. That's good. So we'll do that there. Uh, and we'll do that there, I think. And, uh, sorry, we're going to have Ricky Jade up here in inverted winger. He can play that position. In fact, what we're going to do is swap these two around. That's better. I'm, I, I'm happier uh, with that there. Let's go to the dressing room. Uh, we've been to the dressing room. Ah, oh, dear, my brain is all over the place uh, today. Not quite sure what's, <laughs> what's going on. But we're in into extra time. Oh, we don't want another one of those dragged out penalty shootouts. Let's demand more. Of the entire team oh come on guys so hang on um start extra time in second half um let's go into tactics here right let's see if we can push up our defensive line a bit more squish this down a little bit um and in possession use uh slightly more direct passing confirm those changes there hopefully this will let, let us uh lead us to getting more chances billy gilmore with a corner uh, uh free kick oh what a shot that was uh from way outside oh god i don't want penalties my record on penalties is not great as you saw in the penalty shootout earlier on in the carabao cup i think we got knocked out on penalties there didn't we it's drifting 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 and this game ends up 2-2 there so um i'm happy with just uh giving that handing that over to, to glenn snowden do team talk so hands together um, chance to be heroes, relax, pick your spot and don't change your mind. Yep, there we go. Not seen that before. Adam Ida. So these take ages and ages and ages to go through. And Adam Ida misses. Oh dear, oh dear, my hoodoo uh, on penalties uh, continues. Madison. Scores past Butland. Oh, it's a chance for Butland to make himself an immediate hero. Can Gilmore score? We've seen him miss a couple of penalties this season. He scores in the back of the net. Karoma. Against Jack Butland here. And he scores. Slots his, uh, his penalty away calmly. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this, you guys. McCann. Charlie McCann. Puts it away. Come on, Jack. We need you to make a save here, mate. Ward steps up. Long run up for Ward. 
and easily into the back of the net here. So Huddersfield look like they're putting away their penalties. Jason Cummins with his pen and uh, scores as well. So I think if they score this one, I think that's it, isn't it? Ross against Butland. Butland goes the right way, but Ross uh, scores there. So they've scored all of their penalties. If we miss this one, we're out uh, of the FA Cup for this year. It would have been nice to have a, a run in the Cup, wouldn't it? But, you know, I mean, like I say, this, this season, I just want to get promoted uh, to the Premier League now. Ricky Jay misses his penalty. And there we go. Huddersfield rush off uh, to celebrate. And they are through to the FA Cup. Well, the next round of the FA Cup. I think it's the quarters uh, next in it, isn't it? Let's go to the dressing room. Give the team talk despite the result. I'm pleased with your performance uh, out there. That's picked everybody's spirits uh, up. So that was unfortunate, wasn't it? Unfortunate uh, exit from the uh, FA Cup there. But like I say, you can't win every single game that you play in. Um, Harvey White uh, has been injured. He's out for three to five weeks, which is a bit of a shame, really, because he was playing so, so well uh, for us. I mean, look at those attributes. I think he is an absolutely tremendous uh, player uh, for his age. Only 20 uh, as well. If we can get him next season, I really would like to. And Curtis Jones, uh, but only out... Uh, for a couple of days and uh, Gilmore, bloody bloody blah. So let's progress uh, to the league match uh, this episode. So we've got Blackpool coming up now um, in this uh, next game in the league. Um, this is the team we're going to go with. Ricky Jade up front. Ida, uh, Green over on the left. Green is so useful, by the way. Play either left uh, or right. And uh, he's already valued at uh, 5.25 now. I think he was a good, solid uh, free pickup. I don't think he's going to be anything spectacular uh, or anything like that, but he's just going to be a good, solid squad player uh, for us. Because of the injury to White, uh, we're going to have Gilmore uh, in deep laying playmaker. Armini uh, and Menji at the back there, uh, and then Laird is coming in to give Costanza uh, a bit of a rest here. McCann uh, is somebody I'd like to play more of, I think, as the season comes to an end. His attributes are really, really good. I think he could be a really, really good player. Uh, for us here. So let's get to the dressing room uh, and give the team talk here. So what do you think, you guys? I mean, uh, when when you tend to go up, do you uh, up your up, up up a league into the Premier League, for instance, from the Championship? Do you do a complete rebuild uh, of the squad? Do you try and get in uh, the loan signings, you know, on a permanent deal, maybe uh, if you've had them before? What's your general tactic? Uh, when you go up. I mean, normally what I try and do is make two or three, maybe four, if I can afford it, sort of marquee um, first team squad players uh, and then pad out uh, with um, with prospects, um, really, um, to try and develop them, to give them Premier League experience and then sell at a profit and keep that ball rolling and eventually uh, make enough profit uh, you know, to be self-sustaining -sustain uh, in the Premier League. I don't know quite what's wrong with us here, though, you guys. Uh, our form, um, since, you know, we've done started this, this live uh, commentary, has seemed to take a little bit of a nosedive here. Maybe it's because I've been playing around with the roles and such. I don't know. Let's have a look uh, at this here. Oops, come out of that screen. Let's go to dressing room. Come out of that screen there. Let's go to tactics. Um, let's have a look here. It might also be because of our injuries, you know. Let's let's be honest. We've had ha have had a pretty bad run uh, of injuries there, uh, and we are going to go slightly more uh, direct with our passing. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go to the dressing room. And we've already given the team talk, so we'll start the second half. Um, so generally speaking, what's your strategy if you do go up from the from the league below? Pop your comment uh, down below, telling me. Uh, all the, all the things you tend to look out for. Green picks up. Over the top to Bowler. He's going to be a little bit um, off match sharpness, is Bowler. I don't expect too much from him either. Uh, you know, he was he was a player I picked up, I think, when I was doing like a, a non-league sort of to legend kind of save. And uh, I picked him up in the lower league for free and he, just, he was with me for the whole time. And that's why I've got a soft spot uh, for him. Can't remember which, uh, which side it was. Uh, when I was doing that. Harper to Gilmore. Billy Gilmore to De Silva. Billy Gilmore to Harper. Ida, good play from the cells. Uh, Bowler. And Ricky J. Jones 
uh, calmly slots it into the roof of the net. There we go, Ricky Jade. Normal service uh, has resumed uh, for ourselves by the looks of things. Lovely play, lovely build-up play uh, from us. I think there's going to be a bit of a bit of a maybe trickiness if we if we only get sort of 20 to 30 million uh, on the downside, then I've got to really scrape and scrabble around. I mean, two, three, four million quid a player um, compared to what we already have should give us enough. Our core, I think, is there or thereabouts. Uh, we do need to try and make some of the loans permanent if we can. The game is drifting out now. I'll take a one nil as long as they don't come back. Uh, from it. Uh, we'll bring on Charlie McCann for Billy Gilmore uh, and then we'll give Reese Devar oh hang on no, we're going to give Jack Rolls uh, a run because uh, uh, Rakim Harper picked up a yellow there confirm those subs so yeah I've got my ideas, I've got some strategies that I want to look into uh, over the summer, I think what I'm going to do, um, I'll, I'll obviously show you when, when we get to the schedule screen after the game, uh, but I think I'm going to play out the rest of the season now uh, and come to the uh, end of the season uh, and then we'll do the last game of the season and a season review and then it'll be the transfer uh, window which I'm looking forward to of course now we do not want to concede at all Stuart with a long range shot for Blackpool let's um, let's drop down to positive uh, let's drop this down uh, this possession uh, no it's in out of possession isn't it drop this down Make sure Jack's back in goal there and confirm the changes. Yeah, I don't know if it I don't know if it is because I've been tinkering around with our, our formations and our roles that we're, you know we're, we're not uh, being as stylish as I've been seeing uh, in the off cam games. I guess that sometimes happens. I know I get a lot of um, a lot of fellow YouTubers uh, watching my content. Thanks very much you guys by the way. Hello everyone. I uh, wonder if that happens to you as well. When you get to a live com, do you, does your form suddenly start looking uh, a lot worse? I know people, um, I've seen big YouTubers being accused of cheating and safe coming and all that in the past. Certainly, what what, what would be the point in doing that? We concede uh, a goal there. Ray scoring. So what I felt would happen has actually materialised. That is a shame. Uh, we'll take a point, however, uh, from Blackpool uh, away from home and we continue uh, to march on. So there we have it, everybody. Two actually quite disappointing games, uh, thinking about it. I wanted to show you all this stylish stuff uh, that we've been playing um, as I played through last night. But uh, basically, yeah, uh, finished up. We, li we lost on penalties to Huddersfield in the FA Cup uh, and then a draw uh, against Blackpool uh, in the league. It does, however, mean uh, that we're up to 85 points now, uh, 10 points clear um, of the um, uh, of the playoff spots there. That's why I'm still quietly confident uh, that we can do it. Um, let's have a look at the schedule screen here. So we're going to play all these games now. Uh, we'll come back to you last game of the season. Maybe we'll do the Portsmouth uh, game as well, but certainly uh, we'll do the Brighton game and uh, finish up with an end of season review so i hope you've enjoyed that episode there everybody if you have please leave me a like down below a subscribe if you're new would help me out massively thanks so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day